Today we're going to be considering question two out of our set of Stanford math competition problems, and it reads as follows. Given a tetrahedron with two opposite edges having the same length A that are perpendicular to each other, uh, our goal is to find the volume. Sorry, this wording is wrong, but we have a tetrahedron with two opposite edges having the same length A that are perpendicular to each other, and they are each perpendicular to a line of length B that joins their midpoints. And the question is, what is its volume? So take a couple seconds to try this out, then we'll give some hints, and we'll get on with the proof. Alrighty, for some hints, um, you should be trying to divide this out. You should first try to draw a picture, and once you do that, try to divide it into a kind of neat way, because it's not a very easy object to deal with at first. All right, so for the proof, let's just start with drawing this object. So if we let this be one edge of length A, then we have another one of length A like this, and imagine that this is coming towards you in the sense that um, the this front edge is closer to you than this back edge. And then you can kind of start to fill out the rest of the sides of this um, tetrahedron like this. And you see it's not a very neat object. And let's also draw in the length B that connects these two midpoints. And so we get this length of side A, that middle line of side B, and then we divide this into A over two. And so it's kind of hard to see here but if you think about considering this B A2 plane, A over 2 plane, we see that this cuts the tetrahedron in half to construct this smaller, more manageable tetrahedron, and then one below it. And so we'll try to figure out the volume of each of these. So first we'll note the volume of a pyramid is one third base times height. So for this problem, we need to find the base of this tetrahedron. And we're going to, let's consider this top tetrahedron right now. And I'll fill it in to make it easier to consider. So let's figure out the volume of this, and once we figure that, we're going to double it by symmetry, and we're going to have the total volume. The base is clearly going to be this triangle in here, and we'll see the height is a over 2. a over 2 is equal to h, and then we see that the base is the area of this triangle that's formed when you slice the plane uh, parallel to the bottom of the page here. So we see that the base, and we're going to call that capital B, is equal to the area of this triangle, Every that triangle has bank, base length A and height B. That's going to be A, B over 2. So putting this all together, we get 1 third A, B over 2 times A over 2. And that's the volume of one of these. So we just multiply by 2 to get the whole thing. And we get our answer is 1 sixth A squared B. And we are done. Thank you for watching.